Hi everyone, my name is Chris Kaplis. My name is Eva Ponte. And together we're going to talk about the MicroMasters credential in supply chain management. Specifically, I'll introduce the content of the courses, and then I'll turn it over to Ava, and she'll talk about the logistics of the curriculum. So let me get started. Excellent. So the MicroMasters consists of five courses and a comprehensive final exam. The courses are SC0X to SC4X. So let me talk about each of them and how they fit together. SC0X is all about analytics. We're going to teach you the methods and the techniques you need to solve any supply chain problem. These are all the tools you need to have in your toolbox for the rest of your career. We'll cover optimization, we'll cover stochastic um, analysis, we'll cover regression and simulation, all those things you need to complete the rest of the course. Then we'll move into SC1X, which is all the fundamental trade-offs that are inherent in supply chain and logistics. Specifically, we'll look at um, demand planning, we'll look at inventory management, and transportation planning, and see how those intertwine and, and interact with each other. In SC2X, we look at the three major flows of supply chains, the physical flow, the financial flow, and the information flow, and we understand how to design those systems. We'll look at network design, facility location, production planning, we'll talk about procurement, and we'll talk about supply chain finance as well. Then we'll go into some more qualitative analysis, and that's with SC3X, or supply chain dynamics. And what we do here is we introduce reality. We introduce complexity and complications and exogenous factors that you cannot control in your supply chain, but you have to react to those. Finally, in SC4X, we introduce scale. That is, how do you um, do all of these analyses? How do you handle things on a large scale? So we'll introduce databases. We'll introduce machine learning and talk about the major systems that you need in production to actually operate within a company. So from fundamental models to actual systems that are used in practice. That's kind of how we build everything. You can divide the curriculum in half. The first two and a half courses are all about mathematical conceptual models. We'll build on those, and in the second half, we introduce real life. Because that's what supply chain's all about. You have these nice conceptual models, but sometimes the real world interferes. So we take you all the way through this, and then at the very end, there's a comprehensive final exam. Why do we have this? We have this to synthesize everything you've learned so far so you can see how to apply it. It kind of capstones the entire curriculum. So these are the sequence of the courses. We hope you take them in order from SE0X to SE4X and then the comprehensive final exam. And now I'll turn it over to Ava and let her talk about how we run the course, the logistics of the course. Excellent. Thank you, Chris. So in terms of how we deliver the contents and how we want you to interact with the course, uh, we offer uh, a course team. Each course team includes a course lead, one teaching assistant, and a community teaching assistant. These are a group of 10 people that are helping you with, through the discussion forum. In terms of the structure, uh, we started our courses with a week zero. In week zero, uh, you will find the schedule, the syllabus, and the general things about each course. Then we will deliver four weeks of contents from week one to week four. We release every single week on Wednesdays at 1500 UTC. So after these uh, four weeks, we offer you a week off. This week is just to give you time to complete the great assignments and also to be prepared for the midterm exam. The midterm exam will happen in week six. Then we offer four more weeks of contents from week seven to week 10. And after that, you will have again a week off just to be prepared for the final exam. So we offer here the week off and then in week 12, you will have the final exam. Midterm and final exam are time exams, but once you start with the exam, you only have four hours to complete these exams. In terms of how we deliver the contents, we differentiate two spaces in our courses. We have the learning space, and we also have the assessment space. In the learning space or learning environment, we offer videos, we offer quick questions and practice problems. 
there is a discussion forum. We really encourage you to use this discussion forum as a way to post your questions and any comment that you have related to the contents in our group, in our course. So you can interact with the staff, the teaching assistant, the community teaching assistant will be there to help you to solve your questions related to the course. We also encourage a collaboration in this area of the course, um, study groups. In terms of the assessment, we offer great assignments every single week, midterm exam and final exam. This is an individual work. We really want here to assess your knowledge um, we offer you a SEX Help email account as a way to ask any question related to the grade assignment, midterm, or final exam questions. We have two types of students, audit students and verified. All of our materials in terms of learning experience, videos, quick questions, and practice problems are offered to anyone anywhere. Anyone anywhere with internet connectivity and a laptop or a computer can have access to this content. However, those students that want to pursue for the certificate, they need to be a verified student. This means that the student need to pay for the fee, uh, and this fee is just the fee uh, associated to earn the certificate, the administrative cost uh, to deliver the certificate, um, uh, the, the student need also to be verified. We need to verify the identity of the student. In terms of our goals, uh, our main goal is to deliver the best learning experience to all of our students. In terms of assessment, we really want to ensure a rigorous assessment in order to provide value to this credential. All right. Thank you, Ava. So this is the, the content. This is how we run the courses. Uh, we encourage you to start as soon as possible. So have fun on your journey and good luck. Best of luck. Thank you.